out here today fishing some midwinter crappies and uh, one question I get asked a lot of times what lures I'm using you know when when do you switch lures so in this video I'm going to show you guys kind of the lures I start out using and uh, how I make my adjustments so a lot of times what I'll start out doing is I'll start out using a bigger uh, plastic so this is midwinter right now we're fishing deep water crap uh, crappie and I'm starting out here this is an Acme Google eye jig that's a big jig you can see this is chartreuse and pink and I got a big trigger X paddle grub on here you can see this is a big lure so I like to start out with those big lures and I'm gonna because you know it's easier for the fish to see from a distance I'm fishing dirty water today I'll show you what these what, what it looks like around my holes but this is real stained water I want a bait that these fish can see from a distance and then I'm gonna see how they react to this bait if they're real aggressive and they just come up and smash it you know then we'll run this bait if they're a little less aggressive then I'll switch to another bait and the way I'm gonna know if I need to make the switch is if I mark a couple fish they come up to the bait and don't hit that's when I'm gonna make the switch I'm not gonna make the switch until I'm marking fish and uh, you know and they, they just aren't hitting and if they hit then I'll, I'll just roll with this bait so we're gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do some hole hopping I'm gonna jump around and see if we can't find where these crappie are making some big strokes trying to crawl some of the crappie in here crappie crappie Here we go. We got one coming in here. Yep, we do. So we're going to test this bait out now. Actually, I don't know if this is a... We're going to see what this is. So whatever this is... Oh, here he comes. We're going to see. Here he comes. Does he like this bait? I think he might. Yep, got him. There we go, guys. Hooked up. We're going to see what we got on this bait here. I don't know. So that crappie is not huge. Not, But look at how he just smoked that. So we're starting out here with this little little crappie, but look at the size of that bait this guy hit. So that's a good sign, let him go. All right, I'm gonna keep working this though and see, you know, if we can't find some slabs, but that's a good sign for this bait. So that's telling me, you know, these fish, they might be a little aggressive today and we might get them on the big bait. And that's what I, I like to get them on big bait with a heavier jig, it's just easier to fish. So, if, you know, if that works out for today, great. And if it doesn't, then we'll adjust and we'll go to our next bait. And we might go to our next bait anyways, just so I can show you guys, you know, what else we're going to be using. But sometimes, you know, when you're fishing these midwinter crappies, sometimes you're going to get on a spot where they're just super aggressive. And then sometimes you're going to get on a spot where they're a little more finicky. They're harder to get to bite. A lot of times if you get on a school that has not seen any baits, they haven't been fished. You know they haven't been caught and hopefully released um, those ones are going to be more aggressive a lot of times not always we found some schools of really big fish already this year that were just really tough to get the bite and that's where we got to start making some of the adjustments but so far we've we've got a couple fish i've got a couple fish before i even turn the camera on so uh this is the, the first fish on on this lure was that last fish so we're gonna see if we can't find some more fish I think we've got one maybe coming in here we're gonna see if we yeah I think we do we're gonna see if this guy likes the paddle tail grubs this is our big aggressive bait you can use other ones I mostly you know I just like to start with a big aggressive bait you could use a uh, like a like a uh, tungsten probe there he is got him this is this one I think, yep, there we go guys, and <laughs> look at how he just smoked it. So you could use like a tungsten probe, or I mean a, uh, like a Trigger X probe, you could use, this guy just ate it, he's actually got a friend down there, and this is going to be a chore to unhook. Nice crappie guys, let him go. Hey guy. You know guys, we're doing quite a bit of hole hopping. You can kind of see behind me the holes are starting to build up and accumulate. And you know, there'll be times where 
you can just sit in one spot and you know they'll just stack up and you'll pound them and then there's other times you got to move around a little bit kind of stay on these fish and so far that's kind of been the name of the game today here I got a couple couple marks here I'm using that big paddle tail and this one wanted it too got him got this guy guys what do I got here nice crappie look at this one guys I actually got another fish down there he too just ate it. These things are just inhaling this bait. Well, you gotta get the hemostat out to unhook them. You know they're hitting it. This Google Eye jig too, that thing is just so sharp. Every time you set the hook with that, it just buries that hook in there. Alright guys, so if you wanna know exactly what I'm doing to find these fish, kinda how I put the plan together for the whole day, if you haven't already, check out my 7-step crappie locating system. It's a free PDF. All you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video, and I'll email you a copy of my 7-step crappie locating system. It's the steps that I use to find the crappies, you know, today or any time I'm out. So if you haven't already, definitely check that out. It's free. I'll link it in the description of this video. Here we go, guys. Come on. There he is. Set the hook into this guy. What do we got here? Crappie. There we go. Whammo. Man, these crappies are aggressive, guys. They're liking this bait. Look at every one of them. Just chokes it right down. They keep on making me get... And this, I will say, these Acme Google Eye jigs, man, the hooks are sharp on these things. Every one of them is making me get the darn hemostat. To unhook these things. Look at that. That bait's doing it. Catching some nice eating sized crappie. Let that guy go. Alright. See if we can't get some more on the ice. This is fun. You know, some, some days like, like today, you know, I'm not just sitting in one hole just hammering these fish. I'm having to work for them. It's not non-stop action, but man, it's fun when you can put together a good day of some nice crappies and that's what we're doing today you know pretty nice weather today and I'm you know moving around staying on these fish and uh, it's just a lot of fun great way to get outside in this nice weather alright guys so we're, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna try a little lure change what I'm using now is this little ice mite looks just like that and it's purple and the reason is we didn't have any trouble catching those crappies on that big acme jig with the uh, big paddle tail on there but I think what I'm marking is some bluegills out here and I want to see if we can get a combo the crappies they're gonna hit this big bait too but we're gonna drop down right now and we're gonna see if some of these marks if they're bluegills if we can get them to hit that ice mite and actually I have one right now. We might even need a tip with some live bait, but uh, we're gonna see. So we're gonna start out just trying this ice mite and seeing if we can't get some of these other fish to hit. All right, so I'm gonna put this big waxworm chunk on there and on that ice mite and see if that makes a difference on these marks. I think they're bluegills. And the crappies, they're gonna hit it without the waxworm. We've seen they're aggressive. But we'll see if this waxy, we'll still get the crappies. If we mark them, we'll still get them. But we're going to see if this uh, waxy on there makes it so these big blue heels will bite. There we go, guys. Hooked up. As soon as we made that switch. Oh, and this is going to be a good fish. As soon as we make, look at this, guys. Look at that gill. That right there is a big blue gill, right in the lip. As soon as we made that switch to that little pink, and that, uh, I'm gonna show you how big this gill is. As soon as we made that switch to that purple and tipped that with that live bait, that's what those bluegill wanted. Let's see how big he is. I think I got that bluegill down there, actually. We'll get, I wanna get a measurement on him. All right, that is a nine inch gill. Beautiful bluegill for everyone wants to see a nine inch gill. Nine incher. Beautiful gill. 
Right back down he goes. Let's get another one. So, you usually have some type of plankton feed going on when you got these big bluegills out here over deep water suspended. And that's what we got today. We got crappie and bluegill out here over the, the, the deep water. You don't always get the bluegill out there, but uh, a lot of times you'll get the crappie out there. And it's fun when you get the combo. It's when you're getting bluegills, you know, nine inches plus. Those are those are big gills. Those are fun to catch. I, whatever this is, it's coming up at this bait. He's coming up after it, guys. He's charging now. Let's see if he hits it again. He has come up from. He dropped way down. Now he's moved up. He hit me. Got him. It's a gill. It's a blue gill, and it's going to be a big one. Yep. Giant blue gill, guys. Got him. Came off in the hole. Look at the size of that blue gill. That is a huge gill. Gill, so about half inch bigger than that other gill. Just a beautiful fish. Look at the size of this bluegill though. That is a really big bluegill. Right back down the hole. Okay guys, so we got some fish here. What we're really finding out in this deep basin, we got a mixture of crappie and bluegills. Crappies are sitting much shallower than these bluegills are. The bluegills are running around 15 feet down and the crappies on average are pretty close under the ice. Here I got a fish charging from the depth, racing to beat out these other fish. Got him. This is going to be, oh, this is going to be a good bluegill, guys. I got the bluegill hole right here. Oh, oh, it's a nice crappie. I got a mixed bag here, guys. Look at this one. Nice crappie. I'm going to unhook this guy. Rifle him right back down the hole because I got three, four fish down here. So you can see my holes behind me. I've been kind of just, uh, you know, searching around for these fish and I found them stacked up right here. I'm going to get right down in here. I got some fish. Here he goes. Come on, take him. Got him, guys. Stuck that guy. That's going to be good fish. Oh, it's a big bluegill. He came in high like a crappie boy. It's a big bluegill, guys. Look at that one. Nice bluegill there. That's going to be another nine. I don't even measure it. Oh, we'll throw him back in a second. I got another bluegill, guys. So I'm fishing like really aggressive now. Here comes the fish, too. Got him. This is... I'm fishing aggressive. Oh, nice crappie, too. So the third bait I like to carry with me some type of lipless crank and what I'm doing is I'm calling him in right now I'm using the Z Viber and look I got him right in the corner of the mouth I'm using the pink one and I got it tipped with some waxies and BAM we just smoked a nice crappie now this crappie I did not see him on the screen when you know when I let my bait down I just called him in and he came in hot and he was aggressive he came in right under my bait and uh, I was just what I've been doing is just jigging at the level where I've seen a lot of the crappies come in, and all of a sudden the line, my bait, you know, usually it's about an eighth inch. All of a sudden it was a lot fatter, and I knew there was a fish right under it. Raised it up a little bit, he charged and just smoked it. I really like using this Z Viber. It's a it's a good lipless crank for smoking these crappies, and it it turned that one on. So let's just see now what it does here the rest of this afternoon. Now I like to bring a lipless crank with me because sometimes when you know if the crappies are really finicky so today has not been a problem they bit on everything we've thrown at them. Sometimes when they're really finicky you know normally when you downsize that plastic that's what gets the bite but if that still won't get it that's when I got the lipless crank and sometimes just getting a reaction strike off or a reaction strike off that lipless crank, that's the ticket. So I like to have that with me. Or 
on days when they're really aggressive, it's nice to just have the big, heavier lipless crank drop that sucker down there and, uh, you know, not have to screw around with a whole bunch. There we go, guys, hooked up. Oh, man. Look at that. Just smoked. Right, just pounded this guy right in the lips. Grab And hook this guy. They're loving that lipless crank. Let this guy go. Got him just doing kind of what we were doing before. Calling him in. And he came right in. And he was ready to go. I actually think I, I had the camera off there. I'm conserving battery. I don't even know if I got the hooks that he came in so fast. See if he had a friend running with him. 